मिल टेंपल ऑफ राजस्थान वहां के बिहारी वंश बिहारी सो मच वेट टेंपल एंड इट इज मेड ऑफ गोल्ड एंड देयर राजा वंश बिहारी इज देयर बिहारी जी एंड डेली मोर देन लेस एंड लेस दे गोट इज टेक महाप्रसाद महाप्रसाद एनी वन कम्स इन दिस किंगडम ऑल आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फ्री लॉजिंग फ्री डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर ऑफ महाप्रसाद एंड एवरी एंड वेन यू गो यू विल सी इन दिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ ठाकुर जी ठाकुर जी इज फर्सिप्टीड एंड हाई वे With so opulent set, throne is golden. The Thakur Ji also golden, and so much is doing kirtan all day long. If you will enter in his kingdom, you will hear all persons chanting, "What? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare." राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय राधा रमन हर जय जय राधा रमन नीताई गौरांग And those who are very good devotees, what they are? Govind Dhamo Dharma Dhamiti Govind Dharma. Oh, Mahaprasad is best for Maha remnant of the Hari Devi here. Yes. You can take as you like, as much as, and then rabadi, then khushan, peda, khiri, rice, and dal also. As you can take, and you will be satisfied. Also, king will come. And inquiry that these devotees has been given everything or not? Oh, I want to give you facility for living here. Please be here for one month, two month, three month, and always come to this class and do this. Hmm? So everyone is like this. So you can go there. I am not devoted, but that thing is devoted, managing everything. Then he went there, and he saw what that devotee had told. Actually, like, that. and he became so happy. He went to king and told, "Okay, 
have never seen a devotee like you. Though you are Grihastha, but you are doing so much that I have never seen in my life a devotee like you. My life is successful. Your life is successful. You are always happy. Oh, he told me, oh, don't tell, don't tell. I am not your devotee. I am doing all for my self price. Right? <laughs> <laughs> ah. That also tell that uh, oh you are very good devotee. Actually I am not devotee. Don't tell me devotee. Ah, if you want to see a devotee, pure devotee. Indra is pure devotee. And there, here, the Thakuri is in the shape of Vidraha. Golden, like a statue, but there with Indra, he has like his own younger brother and his Bhamandev, always there and serving Indra, serving and talking. Sometimes doing so much talks, sometimes Bhamandev fights his, his, fights his another and he is to enemy and he always <laughs> removes his all kinds of misery, sorrow, difficulties and always helpful for him. And he offers what offers? Not any material these things, only nectar and parijat pushpa, you know. He can fulfill everything and he gets to his Lord. So Bhamadev is in his shape in God and he is taking all these things. So his life is successful. If your life will be successful if you go to heaven and you see with your Lord. Narakrishi. At once, in a moment, more speed than mind. He went, he fired, and went to bed and then saw. Oh, how beautiful! Bhamandev with his Lakshmi is sitting there, and Indra is studying in so many ways. He is washing his face and gives so much thanks, abhishek, and after that, so many offerings, preparation, and that nectar and parijat pushpa mala he is giving. Flower, garden of uh, garland of all these things, and pleasing him with his stall and his food. Narad, actually, his, more, his life is success. And he went to Indra and told that you are certainly very high class of the body, and you are personally serving your master, and he is taking everything. Like elder brother, he honors you like elder brother. So his life is so successful. I have not seen in my whole life a devotee like In the meantime, uh, Bamandev went there from his, that place and where he went, anyone did not Where he has gone. Nara told that, oh, your life is successful by serving him. He told, I don't tell this. I'm not even a, a very little or very, uh, very little qualified to go. Don't tell, I don't want him. I'm not a true to go. I'm not serving my master. I'm serving only for my, my self gain. So don't tell me the good. I don't know where my Prabhu has gone now. He was, for a momentary moment, he was here. And I was happy. I was happy at that time. But now, where he has gone, I don't know. And I am waiting for him. And sometimes it rebakes me. And sometimes I fight with him for Parya, Pushpa. Sometimes, when Krishna wants, that Bhagavan they want, my throne, Sudharma Sabha, I pardon with him, 
I don't respect him. In the past times of Krishna, I so much disturbed him and he became so angry. I have done so much offense in his property. So I am not real devotional devotee. If you want to see any real devotee and with so opulence uh, doing archan to his Swami, that he has to go to Brahmalo. And you will see that four mouths, having four mouths and eight of Brahma always reciting these months, always doing prayers to him and such. His Lord, Sahasra Shisha. Sahasra Shisha means having thousands and thousands of heads and lakhs and lakhs of arms everywhere. And she is so big strong. And Brahma always reciting big mantra and serving him in so many ways. I once now went there and saw really thousands and thousands of heads and Brahma was praying with what recitation? Purushukta. And he was reciting. And he was also getting the fruits of sacrifices. And he was Jagyapati. So taking all the fruits of Jagya, he was taking. And the fruits remained giving to Brahma. But after some time he also vanished. And Narada came to Brahma and told, Oh Father, now I have uh, knew your Pratva, glory. Before I was only telling you Father, 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 but not your glory. That's your high class of devotion. Now you see, that you are a great, great, high class of devotee and your life is successful. Your Prabhu always plays with you and you are serving him like a person and giving him so many kinds of jati fruits. And he has to test all these things. And he has given you power to give any benediction to anyone. He has given so much benediction to Raman. Kumbhakaran, Hiranyakaspo, Hiranyaksha, and so many, not only even. And sometimes you are not different from, from Krishna himself, Supreme Personality of Godhead. And sometimes you become Brahma, sometimes Lord Shiva, and sometimes Krishna. So you are, in whole world you are himself Krishna. I am so much powerful. You can create this world. You can finish this world. You can nourish this world. <coughs> Two fingers here. Oh, don't tell the old tale. My son. I told you everything that Krishna is supreme personality of the old day. And he was telling like just this thing to me. Don't tell. In this world, I am a wretched person. And not a devotee to Always engaged in all these things for material things to create world and all things. But I am not creator. Who is creator? Krishna creates all. Priest creators. And he gets power in Karnam Dishai Vishnu. And he then becomes Garbhodasai. And he is doing everything in this world. I am not bringing anything. I am not Krishna. Don't tell. It is a very big offering. You know that in Krishna pastimes, I did make so many offerings. I did make it. Okay. And there is all. <laughs> then, definitely I am not any body.
follow me to touch me and that I mean but because I have given so so why you did so you should think and then you should try to get anything <laughs> but without anything he, I mean you have given this oh, I said you should go I, I, I am not in here and he sat there like a jogi and when Brikasur was coming that heaven running very fastly oh why you are running so oh I am searching she had Shankar Dan in this way oh yes I have seen but why you are searching him oh I am searching him to test what he has told me benediction that if he would touch this to anyone he will burn myself I am I want to test whether it is right or not Oh foolish person, why you are not testing your, yourself? Shankar always telling false, always falling false. And so he cannot tell true. So he is definitely he is false. So you should see that you are found here and you should see that nothing is done. At once, oh, very good thing. So I should test and when he test he here and he become true. <laughs> then Shankar came and that I followed him. He told that you should not do like this. So I am not his devotee, devotee devotee. Sometimes so many persons tell me that you are himself God, you are Brahma. I am very well for this. If you want to see any devotee go to Prahlad, he is really a devotee. You should go. And you will see that Nishimha Nish Devat is there and he is always shouting him. Nishimha Devat takes him in his lap. And he is shouting. At once it lives to Shutalo. Tal Talatal Patal Rashatal Shutal. When Bali Maharaj was there, Pralat Mahar was there and they are both serving Nishimha Dev or Mamudya into form. He was saying that there he was serving so much and Nishimha Dev was so much, was so much pleased. Sometimes eating something, his offerings, and sometimes very happy. Then Prahlad Maharaj went to, um, Nar went to him and he began to do Dandavat to Prahlad Maharaj. Then Prahlad Maharaj thought that my Gurudev has been mad or what? That it being I am his disciple and very, very third class of disciple. So inferior so disciple. And he is doing Pranam and praising me and praying me. What is the matter? So it has to do that, don't do so. Oh, now I have known that I have misunderstood you. I made you disciple, but actually you are not my disciple. You are true devotee to Krishna. And Krishna is controlled by you. And to, uh, to, to make your words come true. Come true. Come true. To make your words true, he has come in the wishing today. And in moment he killed Hrindakashtu. At that time, even Lakshmi Devi, Shankar, Brahma could not come to Nishimhade. So he was here. Don't tell like this. I'm your disciple. And he was rolling down in the feet of lotus, feet of He told that if you want to see any devotee, you should go to Hanuman. Here he is. All these serving. How is he serving? Sometimes taking down on his right throne. Sometimes making his leg, his tail like cashel. Sometimes uh, jumping sea and going to Lanka. Sometimes 
doing messaging defeat of Ram and Lakshman. I cannot do all these services. Sometimes he goes here and there. Sometimes he takes whole mountain on his hand and comes to Lanka. So always, forever, he is serving. Once, uh, when Ram was in Ajudhya, Hanuman went to, wanted to see his mother, Sita Devi, and he was in dressing room, bathroom, dressing room. And Hanuman was searching, where is mother, where is his mother, Shanti? He knew that he is in dressing room. She went and opened at once the door. No one can put Enter there. But he desperately, <coughs> like a son, little son, went there. Mother, mother, what are you are doing? And at that time, mother Sita was taking Sindhu here. Right, red uh -huh. You are understanding? Sindhu. Yes. Mother, why you are taking this red thing? That mother told, smiling, my dear son, and taking that uh, my husband should be long live. Long live. He should not die. He should not be very strong. So as a symbol, I take it. Then Hanuman was satisfied. And he was waiting that mother should come out of the dressing room. And when mother went out of the dressing room, he entered the dressing room and he closed the doors. And he began to take all this reddish thing in water, mixing, and he took all over him. In all body. And he became reddish like Sindhu. And then he went to the assembly of Ram Chandra where Sita was sitting on throne and Ram, Lakshman, Bharat and Lakh and Lakh were there. All were laughing what, 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 how he has been reddish. Rama was also laughing. What he has done? Then he, when he came there, Ram told his the one who has done so, oh, I saw my mother that he was taking a very little red powder. Only to make him live long, very strong, no disease should come for this. So if by taking here you are so, then I must do magic bulb for your, your benefit. So always Hanuman, very nice. So. so you should go to Hanuman and really do. At once I ran to Hanuman, to Hanuman and he saw that he is serving in this, that, always. Then hmm? he told that, oh, I have never seen any pure devotee like you. Your life is successful and also successful to see you, to meet you. Hanuman began to read. That Ram has left me in this world and he has gone to Ayodhya with his all associates. I am alone in this world, waiting here. He has ordered me that you should live in this world and try to preach, try to everywhere to devotees and help devotees. So I am here alone, only to help devotees. Now I am so much feeling separation for now, and he began to be. He told that if you want to see and if you are devotee, you should go to Pandavas, especially to Arjun. And you will see that so his life is so much successful. He went at once to in the Prastha, in the kingdom of Pandavas, and he saw that. At that time, all Pandavas are there. And he began, he must, they wanted to honor and to worship Narada Rishi because he was Guru of Pandavas. But when they brought the pot full of 
Parthenalia, full of flowers and children and everything. Be, who, now, first a little, and by that, Parthenalia, he began to worship on the world. Oh, now you cannot uh, cheat me. Now I have known that how first class devotee you are. Oh, I see that Krishna himself, supreme of supreme personality of life, God. He is serving you. He has become charioteer. And also he serves your horses. And he has given his sister, Subhadra, and did marriage. And he is a tutor of Abhimanyu, always serving all Pandava. Oh, my very wonderful man. So he was one of her devotees, supreme devotee. Thus he was praying so much, I am telling very, very good. I have told this uh, story, all this story, never completed in three years, come three years regularly doing, never is so finished. So I am telling in a moment all this. So, Pandavas are so high class of people. Pandavas told that, oh, we are not devotees. We have caused so many things that Krishna has to become my child later. I know that he is God. Personality of God. I have disturbed him so much. I know that. He is the supreme personality of God. I have realized, but he has told so many uh, lies for me. Mm -hmm. no? And I was not ready to fight Mahabharata with the, but he forcibly engaged me in fighting. He gave me the lesson of Gita, he taught me, but it is so what? No, no, no. no. What? Very basic principles. Very, very lower. Learnable. I am his friend, and he is giving me, teaching me sarnagati. Sarnagati is not bhakti yet. It is the door of bhakti. When he thinks that I am not in the door of bhakti, so I think that I am not a pure devotee. And I have not given this sermonality. So actually I am not pure devotee. If you want to see devotee, you can go to Dvarta and see, you should meet Uddhav. And you will see how his friend, his general, his teacher, his guru, his sister, his everything of Krishna. And Krishna sends him where need of Krishna, but he can give any representative, he sends like a representative to Pandava, uh, to Gopis, even anyone cannot go, but he sends Uddhav there. So you can go. And he went to And he saw the high class of devotee, Uddhav. But he, when he told that, uh, oh, you are first class devotee, and your life has been successful. Then we began to be. I am not a pure devotee. I like to be the dust of gopis, thick, thick dust of gopis. Asam, oh, charan reading to Sam. What? Bindavana. Bindavana, it must pull over the thousand years. Monday, number day, stay in arm, father reading to Sam. I want to be a thick dust of gopis. Gopis frame is supreme highest. They can control Krishna. And Krishna has himself told that no pare ham I am not, I cannot repay Gopi. I repay anyone. My mother, father, everyone. But I cannot repay. <coughs> so Gopis are not uh, devotee. What they are? They are himself Sarup Shakti and manifest himself of Sarup Shakti. So he went to. Dwarka and from Dwarka he went to and he 
came from there and went to the council of Vaishnava and declared that gopis are topmost. The glory of, of gopis are topmost. They should try to serve gopis. And our aim should be to have the mercy of the gopis. What is the mercy? There is a sprinkling gopi mood everywhere. So our target should be to shut gopi's dust feet, especially the dust feet of Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami. This is the top best thing. Go, Prima. Now you can begin. What is the time now? Eight? Uh, so you should begin one kirtan and in the meantime they should be ready for play. Uh, you should do kirtan. Begin. In the meantime you should make a play fair play. Yes? You should select. And that should be ready.
Yeah. So um, this is a, a play from a book called The Prima di Varta um, by Sri Jagadananda Pandit. It is uh, just a compilation of his thoughts and feelings and, and uh, a little look at his relationship with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Actually, it's a very interactive type of drama, so everybody please throw in there, have you got all the. <laughs> <laughs> The loving affairs of Shishi Radha and Krishna are transcendental manifestations of the Lord's internal pleasure giving existence. Although Radha and Krishna are one in their identity, they have separated themselves eternally. Now, these two transcendental identities have again united in the form of Shri Krishna Chaitanya. I bow down to him, who has manifested himself the sentiment and the protection of Shrimati Ramayana for the Mahi's Krishna Himself. Srila <coughs> Jagadananda Pandit was a close and confidential associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. As a resident of Navadvip, he was Nimai Pandit's boyhood friend and classmate. Throughout their lives, they enjoyed a unique, loving relationship to Jagannatha Pandit would continually pick fights with the Lord. These quarrels began in their early boyhood days and continued in Jagannath Puri where Lord Chaitanya had accepted the sannyas order of life to benefit the fallen conditioned souls of Kali Yuga. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Maha. Hello! Gauranga! <laughs> His beauty, his attributes are screaming. The desire to write subdues all other thoughts. I push aside my shame, my fear. Take up the pain. Pandit, scholar, in name only, I have no knowledge, I have no devotion, yet I have a desire to write about the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahal. Goswami once said to me, Pandiji, what do you write? I replied, I write about things which are dear to me. I don't know what is beneficial to the world. I just write down whatever pleases me. He left me alone. He knew I was eccentric. <laughs> so I sit alone and write. 
my memories of Lord King Lee. I said you have stolen the complexion, the luster of Simati Nagarani, and hence you are the boyhood days. He was in school. We have an argument. Fight! He made me so angry. I went to the banks of the Ganga, sitting up, I tried all day, all night. Ah! <laughs> Please come in. Look, the Lama Padet to see you. In the darkness of the early morning. Eh. Hey. Go on, Lama. Jagarananda, speak to us. Such anger is not good, Jagarananda. Come on. Every time we argue, in our love increasing, increasing. <laughs> Each time, that love is getting deeper. This is my love. I worship the feet of anyone, anyone who will hear the umbrella. No
have seen you with my eyes. I have seen you on the dark city in Jagannath Mistress courtyard. My
मन कांदे प्राण कांदे काम दे चैतन्य महाप्रभु वेद जगदानीडिंग वन डे they went to play in ganges bank on the sand and it became so much night they were laughing dancing chanting hari name playing beautiful all past times but any how Jagadan and become they can man. Salkimo, not angry. Can Tanu Mahaprabhu and all other friends to their homes return? 
But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was waiting here, very jaga, jagai, very jagai, very jaga. Hmm? And he was waiting here on the bank of Ganges. Hmm? My Gauram, my Gauram, always weeping. He was living in his mother's house, Jagannath Mishra house, and he was waiting here, but in very little age. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could not sleep. He came on the bank of Ganges in the midnight and searching. Very Jaga, very Jaga, very Jaga, very well. And he was weeping Jagai. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and embraced Jagai. Jagadananda. Oh, I could not sleep. I cannot live without you. And he pacified. Like Shatta Bhama, Jagadanandi was Shatta Bhama. Some incarnation of Srimati Radhika. So he has same mood like, somewhat like Radhika. So, always doing something like this. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at last, he took him with him and they went and then after midnight they took anything. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu up till now he had not taken anything but now he took. And he always used to be with Jagai. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became renounced, he went with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And there he was always serving. He described it very well. Very well. His, I think that he has his learned person in Chaitanya Chaitanya and Chaitanya Bhagavat also. And he used to try to be more more qualified, more and more qualified. And not to imitate, but to be like that, Jagadananda. Not to imitate, to be like him. <coughs> and Sarva Srimati Radhika, you told like, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to sprinkle uh, what? This mode of Rad, not Radha mode, Unnata Ujjala Rasang Swarabhati Sriyam Desh. All the acharyas in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come only to give this sprinkle the same thing. Swamiji also, in the guidance of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sastrati Jagad Guru, he came to sprinkle. But he has to cut so many jungles. And he has cut so many jungles. But he has new. You are coming. I am worried for that. I want that all you should be very strong devotees. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what Swamiji has taught you, you should try to follow him actually, not imitate him, and be true devotee. Eh? I want that uh, I Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started and Nityananda Prabhu, Haridas Thakur, they started Nagar Sankirtan, door to door, to village to village, to, get, to gallery to one, and uh, gallery, like chanting, remembering, like waiting. He used to do like that. And then, there will be no fear for uh, that astrologers are telling that in one world war we come and we will all be strong. We will never be strong. Atma is nothing to be destroyed. He is above birth and death. So why you are so much? That's why. Where we will be, what we will be, so never be worried for anything. If atom bomb or hydrogen bomb or any bomb, it cannot touch Atma. To so, show, never. So nothing, nothing, nothing. You should, you should try to. Do Krishna here, there. Sometimes you should 
assemble in one place and take classes like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You have to take classes of the little little boys. What? You are so great. Only Krishna. Eh? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. 